In Wellington, a group camping in Civic Square say they're staying put. The original occupiers left last week. Those who remain are homeless and unemployed, and their spokesman is a well-known protester. Emma Jolliffe reports. Day 68 at Occupy Wellington in Civic Square. Seasoned protester Benjamin Easton says they're achieving their aim. Every day they stay put. And in this location we've got the um, Wall Street effectively, or the stock exchange there. We've got the government just over there and we've got the police there. They're all looking at us every day. So the longer we're here, the more of a thorn in their side we are. A factional split earlier in the week means occupiers now number just 27. Easton admits numbers are dwindling. It's the Christmas season and people want to be with family. So instead of actually concentrating on the real issues as to why they wouldn't be in camp, they've been caught up in, you know, the social issues that are really of little importance. He says the council hasn't asked them to leave. They've asked when we will leave and the reply, as far as I know from the people who were doing that there, is we don't understand your language. But it is denying them basic amenities. The main thing they've been told is that we can't have 24-hour toileting. So what do the public think? Often the best messages are the ones that you deliver sweetly, sharply and then move on. Yeah, I don't think they've intruded on anything, they're all tidy and they yes. seem to be you know, quite happy. To get wealth you've got to work, don't you? 